Thanks. Well, I would like to say that today's guest needs no introduction. Well, that's not the case, but he's probably the most influential person in the RV industry that you've never heard of. However, if you're an RVer, or considering the purchase of a newer Prio model, there's a very good chance that you visited one of his many online forums or websites in the quest for information or as a method of joining a community of like-minded individuals. So stay tuned as that starts right now on The Gadget Guru. Today's guest is Andy Rabinowitz, the founder and CEO of Social Knowledge, an organization that owns and operates more than 30 online RV forums, including IRV2, Air Forums, Campground Reviews, RV Trip Wizard, and the RV Life suite of apps. Thanks for joining me today, Andy. Now, allow me to start by asking, how'd you get into the RV forum business? Uh, my own need. Um, I had purchased an old 1961 Airstream. I needed to fix it up, and I went online to try and find um, some resources to help me fix it up. I found a Yahoo group, and I couldn't attach a photo. So. Um, I talked to a friend of mine, he said, hey, you know, you should check out some forum software. It makes that process a lot easier. And lo and behold, about a week later, uh, Air Forums was live and online. And uh, we started to get a lot of amazing members coming over and sharing their knowledge. And then from Air Forums, how did you get from to the different brands of, of sites that you have? Well, uh, started working with Air Forums, a lot of uh, great team members there. We started listening to our members, and then um, it was just through a couple of random events that I saw some other forums that were going to be shut down. Uh, maybe the founder had some medical issues or uh, was no longer interested in running the site. And so we started to adopt forums over time, acquire them and adopt them. And, uh, uh, it took a few years, but after a number of years, realized that my passion was not just in, uh, you know, restoring the old Airstream, but also in understanding how we could foster forums to make them more vibrant. Outside of Prevo and Newell, it seems that you have every user group and every brand of motorhome or RV covered. Uh, do you think you'll be expanding into those other two areas? Whenever possible, we, we love uh, having new communities join our network uh, whenever possible. Um, so there's plenty of different brands of RVs uh, and forums out there that you know we don't manage. Uh, but if there's some that would like to join our network, we'd be more than happy to have them be part of it. Okay, now let's get into your, I guess it's relatively new, your RV Life suite of apps. Can you provide an overview of what's included with this application and how it works? Yeah, so RV Life Pro is what we call it, and it's a bundle of tools uh, that our mantra is, make camping simple. So uh, t planning a trip can be a little bit uh, time consuming, tedious. Uh, you gotta go to four or five different websites to try and figure out uh, where you get the best information, find safe routes based on the height, weight, and length of your RV. Then you gotta navigate there, potentially needing you know a Garmin or a RV specific GPS. Um, and then you've got a whole bunch of memories that you're gonna make while you're on the trip and how do you store those. So. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to build tools that help RVers from the moment they drive off the RV lot all the way through the whole life cycle while they own their RV. Um, our most popular tool is called RV Trip Wizard. Uh, that one allows you to get RV safe routing, allows you to find places to stop along your route and identify really great campgrounds, uh, has some really powerful filters, and allows RVers basically to create a plan for their trip. Once the trip plan is created and it's time to depart, uh, then we have another tool called the RV Life app, which is basically a GPS system. Uh, so it turns your phone into an RV safe GPS. Uh, you can sort of think about that as, you know, if Google Maps and a Garmin RV had a baby, that's what this app does. And so um, essentially we turn your phone into an RV safe GPS. No need to buy hardware, no need to clutter up your dash with another device. That will help you get from your starting point to your end point safely, avoiding low clearances or uh, difficult U-turns, propane restricted tunnels, stuff like that. And then um, we also have a tool in part of the RV Life Pro bundle is another tool called Maintain My RV. 
Uh, that one is an RV maintenance tracker. So if you have a motor home, say you've got two air conditioners, those have their own maintenance schedules. You've got refrigerator, generator that has oil changes, air filters. You've got your slides that might need greasing. You've got your chassis and your engines and your transmissions and all that stuff. And there's a lot going on. And so you can put all of that into this system and it will tell you, you know, when your next maintenance is due and just help you manage your RV. So basically um, plan your trip, execute your trip, and then keep your rig maintained uh, after you get home. Now, as you know, I've used your products in the past and I've featured the RV Trip Wizard, you know, in a review just a couple years ago. Now, if while it was a fairly new program at the time, and in my opinion, as you you know, it had some room for improvement. I'm to understand that you've made some major changes since I performed that review. Can you tell me what's new and what's changed? Yeah, so on RV Trip Wizard, we spent a good year refactoring the software. What that means for non-technical people is we rewrote the whole back end of the program. Um, and in doing that, we actually changed uh, our routing software that helps us determine uh, RV safe routes. Previously, we used Google Maps and Google Maps is fine and dandy for a car. And what we would do is we would layer on a warning when the, the car routing intersected like a low clearance. And it was up to the user to then go investigate and look around and make sure is that, you know, uh, do I need to be concerned when I get routed there? Now we have smarter technology that will actually take into consideration the height, the weight and the length of your RV and if there's a low clearance along your path, it's not gonna route you there. It's gonna route you around it automatically. Um, we can also take into consideration, um, you know, lots of different factors like other mapping programs, tolls or traffic, um, stuff like that. And so essentially the routing um, was improved. Uh, we also fixed a lot of bugs uh, with the new software. The old software was difficult to maintain. So a lot of little twerks that uh, people had issues with, those are now fixed. And, and now the, the software is in a place where we can start iterating on it, uh, making it better uh, moving forward. So we'll see a lot of new features coming out. Now, one of my favorite features on the RV Trip Wizard was when you could do the concentric circles. And basically, you know, as you're going through and you're planning a trip, you can say, okay, I'm going to drive between 200 or 250 miles a day. And you could look at the map and you could see the concentric circles. And lying within that will be things like, you know, campgrounds and whatever where you can get reviews. Now, you own the Campground Reviews website or, or forum. Uh, is that still integrated into RV Trip Wizard? Yes, yeah, so all of our tools are get their data, their campground database from campgroundreviews.com. Uh, that was formerly known as rvparkreviews.com and that's been online nearly 20 years. So we have more reviews than any of the other review websites. Um, we have more detailed reviews, I mean exponentially more detailed. Uh, so when somebody leaves a review, we ask them like, you know, 30 questions about their stay. And uh, so when you're when you're investigating where to stay, we've got really great data. And the data from Campground Reviews makes its way into RV Trip Wizard, also makes its way into the RV Life app. Now, a few moments ago, you mentioned Garmin, you know, and I'll, I'll say from my point of view, I think Garmin for RVing, especially for big rigs, is the gold standard of GPS. I mean, A, it's satellite, your phone is not, you know, your phone's using a cell signal. What, how would you compare what you're doing now with RV routing to Garmin and where are you going with this in the future? Well, uh, I would say that our routing is going to be equal to Garmin. Um, that, you know, we're actually with time, we're hoping to provide better routes than you would get with a Garmin because we're trying to take um, data from users on their trips, get them to submit feedback to us so we can then improve the routing uh, that could be something as small as you know a tidbit of information that i drove from point a to point b and guess what there's construction so hey other rvers if you're going to take the same route just a heads up uh, there's going to be an area that's pretty tight so you're going to want to be well rested and ready to stay you know uh, drive through a construction zone uh, we also have a thing that we call um, you know, like a, an, an optimal approach. And so if somebody gets a route one direction, say into a campground, 
we had an RVer give us feedback that, hey, there was a big dip in the road. I scraped the back of my rig back there. It's a lot better if you come from a different direction. So we can take that information, we can apply that. So the next RVer that comes to that campground will get routed in a better direction. And it'll take us a few years to uh, build up our database so that you'll see a significant uh, impact, you know, when you're getting routing but uh, we'll get there. You know, when, when it comes to GPS advice, you know, I, just like you, I get my share of emails and PMs and text or whatever from newbies, and they ask about routing. And the one thing I tell them is that, especially if you have a big rig, stay away from ways. Because um, basically, as you know, how ways works, that if you get into traffic, they reroute you around. Well, if you're in an RV, that might include U-turns or very tight streets or residential neighborhoods. Now. That's my advice to newbies. Considering how actively you're involved in, in the RV world, what's your advice to the newbies on your sites? Uh, I think your point is very well taken. It actually happened to me this summer when I was traveling to Colorado with my family. Um, I was running Google Maps at the exact same time as RV Life app with GPS, and I decided to follow Google Maps because I was gonna save 10 minutes. Um, I got off the interstate, I took a right, I went about half a mile and the road was horrible. I mean, my everything was shaken, you know, potholes, uneven, 18 wheelers whizzing by us on a two lane road. And I thought, I don't wanna drive on this road for 20 minutes. So I just pulled over, made my way back and went back to the interstate. And even though it was five or 10 minutes longer, um, at least I got there without the stressful driving. And um, actually when I pulled over, my toaster oven had fallen out of the cabinet on the floor. That's how bad the trailer was shaking. And so um, I learned very quickly just to go ahead and stay on the, the bigger interstate and avoid the small suggestions to turn on the, on the little dirt road to you know, save a few minutes. It's okay if you're in a car, but when you're in a, a big RV or pulling a trailer and things are gonna bounce around, it just saves the wear and tear. And uh, you know it just gets you there safer. So I would definitely trust, um, trust you know like uh, an RV GPS over a, a regular car-based GPS. And I absolutely agree with you. Now, uh, but before we move on to the next topic, RV life. Am I correct? You have both a free and a paid version. Can we go through the pricing and, and what's included with one versus another? Sure. So RV life app is free, um, but to unlock the GPS features. Uh, that's part of the RV Life Pro bundle. And so um, the free app has a campground directory, has uh, favorites and content. Um, there's a really neat like search and explore area that allows you to sort of drop yourself at any part of the United States or Canada and see what's around you, campgrounds, activities. Um, but the real uh, feature that you unlock when you upgrade to the RV Life Pro is the GPS system. But if you don't need a GPS, it's still a great tool. You know, you can uh, use it for, um, you know, finding campgrounds, it works great. And the price for this is? It's $49 a year for the RV Life Pro Bundle. Uh, the RV Life Pro Bundle includes um, RV Trip Wizard, the RV Life app premium features, which is essentially the GPS functionality, um, and maintain my RV, as well as it removes ads from some of our websites. So a, bit, a little bit better, uh, you know, user experience. We don't have to see ads. If you could give one piece of advice to a newbie who's considering the purchase of their first RV, what would it be? Uh, to determine what kind of places you like to camp. Um, so if you're really big into nature and you want to get out up into the state parks or, you know, deep into some beautiful area, uh, you need to understand the, that you're gonna need resources when you get there, water, electricity, uh, and also a fairly modest size RV. Um, so if you buy a really big RV, it can be difficult to get into tight spaces. Um, but if you're more into going to explore cities and towns and you know want space uh, while you're traveling, then a larger RV would work. But I think a lot of people kind of have the dream of they want both you know they want a, a big giant rv maybe a class a diesel pusher and they want to go out into uh, really remote places and sometimes those two don't work so well together final question based on the activity and questions that you see pop up on your various forums do you think that the rv manufacturers and dealers are doing enough to educate new buyers in other words what could they be doing better 
Well, that's the, the issue with getting into RVing is there's, it's complex, you know, so you've got, you're all of a sudden dealing with uh, managing a, a movable house, uh, the resources for the house, finding campgrounds, getting safe directions, how long you can stay in places based on the resources that you have. Um, and so it's a fairly complex topic. And I think that's where the dealerships have a hard time is to sort of um, get the new buyer sent off in the right direction so they can figure out the whole process. You know, buying the RV is just the first step. After that, you got to figure out how to use it and how to successfully go camping at places that you're going to enjoy. And so that's kind of where I see RV life fitting in is when somebody drives off the lot of the RV dealership, we're, our, our goal is just to make it simple. You know, so we want them to leave, have everything they need to plan that trip, find a campground that they know is going to fit their needs, uh, that they're going to enjoy staying at, and then um, get there safely and get home safely. Andy, I want to tell you, take a moment to say thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to see all of the sites under the RV Life umbrella, just visit socialknowledge.com and surely you'll find a site that suits your need. Well, we appreciate it. Also, I think rvlife.com is just a, you know, a great starting point to look at the different tools that we have and uh, you know, really make that process simple. I tell you, I've been following you for a number of years and I tell you, it's just impressive in the way that you've grown. And basically, you're simply a one-stop shop for just about everything in the RV world. So thank you for your time today. Oh, well, thank you for having me on. I'm honored. Okay, remember the easiest way to keep posted of my news stories and videos is to simply follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the gadget guru. If you enjoyed this interview, please take a moment and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Oh, one more thing. If you like this video, you're going to like this one. And if you like that one, you're going to like one of these. That's it for now. I'm the gadget guru, Andy Parr.